okay so assuming uh, <coughs> people are not aware this actually gets used in databases these trees are called as b trees so where you have like we have let's say uh, 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 one value let's say 10 and then all the elements to the left of uh, this left child in the left subtree are less than 10 right subtree greater than 10 in this case we are going to have maybe multiple such values maybe 10 20 30 40 let's say four values in the node itself so it's an array in addition there are going to be five pointers uh, one on the left of 10 uh, one on the right of 40 and three more in the middle of 10 20 then 20 30 and 30 40 so if you have k number of values you have k plus one number of pointers and then within each subtree you will have values within that range so the left subtree will have uh, values less than 10 right subtree will have values greater than 40 the subtree which is being pointed to by the pointer between 10 and 20 will have values between 10 and 20 right and individually each of the children nodes themselves will have k such uh, pointers or k plus one pointers right so why this structure is really required is because it reduces the height of the tree further even below log n right uh, it becomes a function of n and k and why that is required is because many of the database solutions where you have a large database it's going to be stored on the disk and the access time to a particular record needs to be reduced and the number of levels in this binary search tree or essentially a b tree are going to be decided uh, are going to get reduced because of the more uh, elements inside each node so that uh, becomes a very interesting uh, database uh, data structure called b trees those of you who have interest feel free to uh, look up uh, for more information or you can uh, discuss with me not an issue all right so uh, any other questions anybody has related to binary search trees otherwise i'll ask you to solve some problems uh, we'll discuss some solutions also okay so assuming there are no questions let's uh, go ahead so let's solve this exercise at least verbally and uh, um, let's see if you are able to code those up later given a binary tree how do you find out if it's a bst इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है भाई ओके सो थैंक्स विशारद यूजिंग रिकर्शन चेक ईच नोड विथ लेफ्ट एंड राइट चाइल्ड ओके सो व्हाट विल यू चेक विल यू चेक दैट द लेफ्ट एंड द राइट चाइल्ड आर आई मीन द लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज स्मॉलर एंड द राइट चाइल्ड इज लार्जर दैट्स व्हाट यू विल हैव टू चेक So there is a small problem, Visharad. I'll uh, mention to you. Uh, please see if your uh, algorithm addresses that. So let's say that the root of the overall BST is ten. Now everything on the left should be smaller than that. If our algorithm is to check for the left and the right children, let's say that the left child is five, right? uh, and the right child doesn't exist, or maybe it is fifteen. Doesn't matter. so it is satisfied at the root now we recursively go inside and check the same at every node now for 5 when you go there let's say the left child is 1 and the right child is 11 we'll still say that at 5 it satisfies the bst property because 1 is smaller than 5 11 is larger than 5 uh, but we have dissatisfied the bst property at the root because the root is at value 10 
so we have to be a little more careful there uh, we may not be able to do it only based on the nodes left and right uh, checking only that right so i hope you agree with me um shania says maximum of left subtree should be less than the node value and that should be less than the minimum of the right subtree recursive okay so that seems to be taking care of this one so the maximum of the left subtree uh, should be less than the node value and that should be less than the minimum of the right subtree recursive so that also that also seems to be okay unless somebody sees any issues with this i am not able to see any problem with that except that we'll have to model it a little carefully such that we don't have to do multiple traversals that is in a single traversal if we can identify and go on uh, recursively identifying the current mean in the current subtree uh, that should be okay is what i feel that should be okay this needs to be modeled uh, but the algorithm seems to be correct Anirudh says travels through the tree and for each node see if left child is smaller and right is larger. Right. So as Anirudh has also agreed with uh, uh, Visharat, I thought, uh, yeah. So I hope my uh, the example that I give uh, will say that this requires something more. This alone will not be sufficient. Abhijit says we can see this problem as smaller sub problem in which at each node we are asking whether whole left side of tree is less and right side is large. right so that whole left side and right side is uh, uh, small and large respectively that encoding uh, can possibly be done as shania was mentioning in terms of the max on the left and min on the right right so that seems to be useful um murari and suryanarayan say that maybe in order uh, traversal of the bst can be done and as long as it is sorted it is okay Right. Is this sufficient? Is there something else that is required? Please check. Um, Yashwant Reddy says, for right value, we check its node is between parents value and infinity, and for the left value, we check between minus infinity and parent value recursive. So for the right child, it's the between. Parents value and infinity. Uh, that alone also might not be sufficient, is what I feel. Uh, the reason being that if we just check the parent, um, it might be between the parents value and infinity. Uh, that is uh, larger than the parent. Uh, actually if it is larger than the parent boys okay okay if this node is the right child is what you are saying i see if this node is the right child uh then its value sh should be between the parents value and the infinity that is it is always larger Mm -hmm. so by taking advantage of this can we find out that it is always going to be uh, in the appropriate bst form but yeah in this case we are essentially checking if the current node's value is greater than the parent's value 
right so that alone will not be sufficient because you might satisfy this property but uh, you will still encounter the issue that uh, uh, 5 might be the parent 10 might be the current node and currently the 10 value is between parents value 5 and infinity that is okay but now 10s left 10s left might still be let's say 4 which is smaller than the parent 5 which will not get checked here right so uh, just checking two levels will not be sufficient sai charan says sorted in order should be sufficient to check okay so that is definitely one way of uh, doing that you just do an in order traversal of the uh, binary tree and if it is sorted then you have uh, it as a bst uh, so that property needs to be proved but the, it holds in practice uh, it holds uh, uh, theoretically as well as in practice but the other suggestions that we had uh for example shania had suggested this uh, min on the left and ma- oh, sorry min on the right and max on the left that might be a possibility uh, it needs to be thought about it not it needs to be thought through good uh, madhu says we can just modify agula's method to accommodate a left and right margin plus the parents value essentially being shania's method uh yeah so that margin needs to be decided by that is okay that is okay the margin needs to be decided by the min and the max and that needs to be done at every subtree level the small issue there is that we have to model the computation such that we are able to update that minimum and maximum as we go upwards backwards uh, from the subtree to the parent right as long as you are able to do that then you will be able to uh, do this sure madhu thanks any other concerns here for the first problem i strongly recommend some of you should try that out uh, and feel free to share the code also on uh, uh, on the group um, in case you are okay with your colleagues getting uh, marks for those problems in case this question comes up later in the exam okay, so feel free to share discuss i see that the uh, there is no group discussion i don't know if you guys have a whatsapp group where you are discussing but feel free to take advantage of the google group to discuss these technical issues okay given an uh, even even for that matter uh, uh, it is all right to post your uh, uh, maybe i'll i'll not say that in it might create problem so i'll, I'll uh, refrain from saying that okay fine so the second problem is given an insertion sequence how would you permute it such that you achieve the minimum height of the bst Shania says sort and keep taking the middle value. Okay. Madhur says for example for the tree ten one five eleven we start with the value to the left of ten. Uh, okay. And the between minus minus infinity to ten and then the left child of five. Can be between minus infinity and five, and the right child can be between five and the margin ten. I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I I agree with that. Sure, I agree with that. Much. Okay, Sai Charan says median values. Uh, well. right so yeah murari is saying what was the question the question is the second one that for an insertion sequence how do you permute it such that we achieve the minimum height bst yeah okay so uh, yeah this answer is correct uh, uh, what uh, chania was suggesting that we can uh, and sai charan is also suggesting median values median of the remaining list of data after every iteration yes 
so we take the sorted we um, take the sorted sequence and then take the middle element that will be the first one and that forms essentially the root of the bsp and then you have two subsequences one smaller than the root value one larger than the root values and then uh, you repeat this procedure for the left and the right and essentially that is going to give you whatever was the binary search mechanism that we had in a sorted array exactly those positions uh, the values at those positions are going to be the values that we encounter as we do uh, uh, level order traversal of this tree. all right so that sounds good um, can you count the number of leaves in a uh, bst well i think this has nothing to do with bst you can do the same for binary tree um, yeah i mean this is more for practice just to find out uh, the nodes you perform a traversal of the tree and find out the nodes having uh, both children as in them okay print a bst in a level order manner any suggestions on the this fourth one how do you level or how do you do level order printing of a bst okay okay good so that's the one word correct answer that chania murari rishab uh, surya narayan zita are giving that uh, we just need to use another data structure which is our queue and whenever we are talking about breadth first you should think about a queue whenever you are talking about a depth first you should think about a stack and as long as that is there done then the rest of it is more like an implementation good and can we print the values in the reverse sorted order so that also is uh, uh, relatively easy but you just need to model the computation in a particular way these exercises are not so much on the thought provoking part but more for you to practice with the bsts and the programs are actually going to be very small with recursion it's just that you need to think through it and uh, implement and hopefully you will be able to write it up if there are any issues feel free to discuss with me or on the google group any questions okay if there are no questions then we are ready to jump into height balance trees right so these are uh, uh, one uh, specific uh, type of height balance trees are called avl trees anybody knows uh, who invented avl trees okay anybody knows how many researchers invented avl trees <laughs> okay yeah for a long time i used to feel at least during my btech when i studied avl trees i used to feel that yes there are uh, three researchers uh, by whose name this avl is uh, uh, named adelson welski and landis uh, <laughs> and then i realized that it's not actually three it's actually two as murari is uh, suggesting uh, but i didn't understand madhur's question why did you say uh, zero madhur <laughs> okay <laughs> sure uh, yeah so uh, usual bsts will have uh, height uh, worst case height of order n and as long as we satisfy the bst property we can restructure the bst such that it becomes bushy and therefore we will be able to achieve log n height uh, uh, when uh, uh, we push all the uh, well it becomes bushy right so at that time we push all the leaf nodes upwards right so I, then the height kind of reduces right so it is invented by two researchers that adelson welski is the one name right or one last name whatever you want to call it and then landis is another uh, person from russia and this was invented when uh, you were not even born actually i was also not born okay uh, although i might not look that young but still okay so uh, these are examples of height balance trees and uh, sometimes these are also called as self balancing binary search trees right so one important point which i would like to emphasize is whenever people talk about bsts don't think order log n when people talk about bsts don't think order log n it is only binary search tree whose height can be order n only when these are height balance then only uh, you should think about log n okay okay so uh, one of the ways in which that can be done 
uh, height balancing mechanism is uh, uh, something which works. And um, before seeing what works, let's first look at what doesn't work. So one of the ways in which I can decide to uh, uh, get height balance is that at the root, I'm going to make sure that the left and the right subtrees have the, exactly the same heights. And this definitely doesn't work because uh, similar to what we had uh, when we were defining the BST, right? so uh, all the nodes on the left should have smaller value, all the nodes on the right of the root should have larger value. That was our definition of BST that was not working. And similarly, this will also not work because it doesn't guarantee height balance at all. Uh, so it is satisfied at the root that the height of this subtree, left subtree is three, height of right subtree is three, um, but it is still not height balanced because there are other nodes which are not height balanced, right? So therefore this property needs to be satisfied at every node rather than only at the root. So that becomes my ne next uh, uh, obvious thing to do that ensure that the left and the right subtrees are of the same height. And this is guaranteed at every node in the tree, right? Why doesn't this work? Okay, so functionality wise, okay, side chain says, can I repeat the question? Murai says, if you remove all node from a subtree, no, we can restructure it, Murari. Uh, so that's not it. The question, side chain is that uh, if we ensure this property that the left and the right subtree heights are the same, this is ensured at every node in the tree, uh, still we cannot. I mean, still it doesn't work in practice. Why does uh, that happen? Um, so yeah, Murari, if we can remove the nodes, we can insert the nodes, but we will be able to restructure those. Right? And that's why these are called a self-balancing BST. So we will be able to do that. So that can be taken care of. But still it doesn't, uh, it has some, it's not a functionality issue, it's more like a logistical issue. Okay, so the reason why that doesn't work is because, uh, okay, Saicharan says too much computation. Mm. Yes, there will be some computation uh, as we will see, but uh, no, that is not the reason. The reason is that if you want to set, uh, satisfy this property at all the levels, then you cannot support arbitrary number of nodes in the tree. You have to have two to the power k minus one number of nodes exactly, right? So if it's one level, it is one. If it is two levels, you have to have three nodes in the tree. If it is three levels, you have to have seven nodes in the tree, exactly, right? And therefore we cannot support arbitrary number of nodes in the tree. So it becomes more like a logistical issue rather than a functionality issue. It can be tackled in two ways. One is that you can add some dummy nodes such that it becomes power of two minus one so that this property is satisfied for all the nodes. Alternatively, you can be a little more relax this condition and say that mm, maybe at every node I need not satisfy this particular condition. Maybe what I'll say is that one node here and there it is probably okay. Right. So that's what comes to Murari's suggestion that we can allow height difference of one at every node. If we allow that, then it is little more relaxed and we will still be able to satisfy uh, the BST property and it will still be approximately height balanced or almost height balanced. Saicharan says, can we relax it only for the leaves? Uh, that becomes, uh, that is also one possibility. That is also one possibility. Uh, but we will relax it at uh, all the levels. So uh, can we relax it only for the leaves? Yes, that is possible. Just that you might have to do little more work. Um, and I'll show you what that work is. It's essentially called as rotations. And those rotations, we might have to do a little more. As long as we are able to bound those, it's all right. Um, but yeah, you can relax it only for the leaves. That is another possibility, sure. But you will see that since the height difference is only one, 
um, it doesn't become too bad. The structure doesn't become too bad. And I'll, I'll show you uh, with some pictures. Okay, so this is the one that I was trying about two to the power k minus one. Okay, so we say that a property that AVL trees should satisfy is that it should be a BST and the height difference must not exceed one. So we'll take that as uh, uh, as the AVL property. So I'm going to show you some examples of AVL trees. Uh, only the structure part, as far as the BST part is concerned, that is dependent on the values which we'll ignore for now. So can a zero node tree or zero level tree be uh, an AVL tree? Yes, it can be according to our definition. The, there are no nodes in the tree in the BST and therefore that trivially satisfies this. If you support only one level right, in the tree, uh, can you create an AVL tree corresponding to that? Yes, there is only one possibility and that satisfies. The left subtree and the right subtree uh, are the same and therefore the height difference is at max one. What happens when you have two levels? How many such AVL trees are possible? Uh, any suggestions on that? Okay, Shania says three. Murari says four. Anirudha says three. Surya Narayan says three. Okay. Any other answers? Salman says one. Sai Charan says 2, Abhishek says 2, okay. Okay, so can somebody, uh, maybe we'll start with Salman. Uh, what is the tree that is possible, uh, AVL tree that is possible? Nobody can. We can show it with some examples or something. Okay, so yeah, so there are three nodes in the tree. Uh, one is the, yeah, sure, no problem. So, so one is the root and then it has two children, right? So that is definitely uh, a BST, I mean, depending upon the values, but that is definitely an AVL tree also because uh, the root has uh, two children um, uh, whose heights are one and therefore the height difference is maximum one and the same thing is also satisfied at the children. So definitely that is a valid AVL tree. Let's come to Sai Charan and Abhishek. Why, what is the second tree that is possible? Sai Charan says one to two uh, and one to three. Okay. So now uh, Sai Charan is saying that there, are, there is a second tree that is possible, which is uh, not having the, th uh, the second child. Right. So only one to two is the, there are two levels, there are only two nodes. Salman, is this an AVL tree? Yeah, so the tree is that you have one as the root and it has uh, the, so there are two answers given by Sai Charan. The second answer resembles your tree. One is the root and which has two children, two and three. And the second tree is one is the root and two is its alone, uh, lone child. There is no second child. Is this an event? Okay, so Salman now agrees that this is going to be a second AVL tree possible, right? Okay, so let's come to uh, uh, Shania, Anirudh, and Surya Narayan. What is the third tree that is possible? Aniruddha says one, two, three is the third one. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. So one, I think uh, uh, Sai Charan uh, has probably assumed it to be one way, but I think we'll, we can also as far as the structure is concerned, you can think about it as left child or right child, and that can give a third 
structure to the tree. Um, okay, and uh, let's come to now uh, Murari. What is the fourth tree, Murari? Sir, I assume nodes are different. Uh, nodes are different meaning node values. No, no, the node address, I mean, the top node and the bottom node are different. You can arrange them. It can be more good. I didn't get that actually. So root node and the left node are different addresses. No? So root can be both. So uh, I understand that structure wise, both are same, but I see, I see. Okay, sure. Okay, so that will take this three as the answer. Uh, that uh, these are the three structures that are possible. Right? Any questions on this one? And all these BSTs are avl Right? In fact, you cannot create a two-level BST which is not an avl Correct? Uh, let's come to the third level. Right. So, in case of three levels, what are the BSTs possible and uh, what are some of the avian trees that are possible? Can you have a BST without having an AVL property satisfied? Okay, so if you follow this one to two to three, uh, then Anirudha says that, and Shania also agrees that that is not an AVT, although it might be a BST. I'll uh, wait for a few seconds for you guys to try out different combinations. Okay, so some of the trees that are possible, BSTs that are BST structures that are possible are this. So this structure, is this a BST? Uh, is this an AVL? Sorry. Okay, Murari says yes, Salman says yes, Rishabh says yes, Zita says yes, Shania says yes. Let's check that, let's confirm that, right? So at the root, the left subtree has height 2, right subtree has height 1. Therefore, it is AVL property satisfied at root. Uh, here, again, the height difference at the left and right child is 1. So it is satisfied. Here also, it is satisfied. Uh, the height difference is uh, 0. Uh, same thing happens here. Same thing happens here as well as here. These are all different uh, left-right combinations of uh, the pointers. right? When it comes to this part, that is what uh, Anirudha and Shania were suggesting, that uh, uh, if it's like a linked list, then it doesn't satisfy the AVL property. And therefore, this is one which is not going to satisfy. Similarly, this one is not going to satisfy. How about this one? Right, as I says, one, two, three, four are AVL. Uh, fifth one is not, sixth one is not, how about seventh one? Okay. Aniruddha, Surya Narayan, Sampriti, Rishabh, Shania, Murari, all of you are saying that this is not an avial. Let's check that. So as far as uh, leaf nodes are concerned, those are always height balanced. Right. As far as the parent of these leaf is concerned, that is also height balanced, left subtree height 1, right subtree height 1. When it comes to the root, the left subtree has height 0 and the right subtree has height 2. That is more than one difference and therefore this is not height balanced and therefore this is not AVL. Similarly, this one is also not AVL. Okay. And there could be more such combinations. All right. Any questions on this part?
So I hope we understand the AVL property now uh, properly. Let's use this property to perform insertions, removals, searching, etc. Searching is easy. Searching is uh, essentially satisfying the BST uh, traversal. So that searching is going to continue as it is, just that, and the bound of order height is going to continue, just that the height is now going to change to log n, and therefore we are uh, will be able to uh, say that the complexity of search remains the same, just that it improves. Okay. Um, okay. Which of these are having AVL structure? First, second, third. None. Sitechain says none have AVL structure. Okay. That was fast. Shania says two is not one and three have AVL structure. Okay. Murari says one and three. Rishabh says one and three. Varad says one and three. Okay. Aniruddha says one and three. Sai do you want to revisit your suggestion? Adarsh, Madhur, Visharat. All of you are saying that first and the third one have AVL structure, whereas the second one is not. So which node is imbalanced? Yeah, so Sai Charan is asking, okay, we'll come to that. So all of you agree that second one does not have an AVL structure. Right, so which node is not having the AVL property satisfied in the second one? Right, so the root level, level to right node. No, 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 uh, no sir. Uh, like, uh, uh, it's not balanced, right? Like, the number <laughs> of nodes on the left and right are not the same. With yeah, but we system. don't say that it is uh, height imbalanced at this node. We say that at this node, it is height balanced. At this node, this node, it is height balanced. At this node, it is height balanced. So we just look at the subtree rooted at that. At this node, it is height balanced. At leaves, it is always height balanced. Right? At this node, the left subtree has height 1, right subtree has height 2, so it is height balanced here also. Now when so, it comes to the root, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Do we check only for height balance or do we check for number of nodes on no, either? No, just one? said height difference. We never talked about the number of nodes. So it's all right if uh, the heights are similar, but the uh, number of nodes on either side are uh, not are different. even yes. close. Like yes. for the first one, the ah. uh, left hand side has four nodes, but the right hand side has only two. So Yes, that is correct. So the height difference is still maintained, and that is all right. That is what uh, the AVL property tells us. Uh, so when you are suggesting that uh, uh, we can have this uh, height difference of one only at the leaf nodes, that might allow a structure which is more stringent. And then you might be able to say that uh, uh, in terms of number of nodes also, it should be more balanced. But in this AVL tree case, we can only check the height. We don't have to worry about the number of nodes. Of course, the number of nodes will also have some restriction, but the difference can be greater than one. Okay, sir. Okay. I, I understand where uh, uh, you got this, uh, that uh, all three are not having the AVL structure. I understand that. Thanks. Okay, so if we check the root, the right subtree has height one, the left subtree has height three. And that is more than one difference, and therefore this is not an AVL tree. As far as the other two are concerned, you can check that those are going to be AVL trees. All right, sounds good. Uh, yeah, again, uh, Visharat, uh, this node is height balanced. It is this node which is having the height imbalance. Okay. So that should be understood clearly. Any other concerns, questions? All right. So um, let's do one more class. Right? So we want to find out 
not the avl tree but an avl tree having four levels and fewest number of nodes how many nodes will it have so we have looked at three levels right root at one level then its children at second level then grandchildren at the third level now if i want to have a four level avl tree what is the minimum number of nodes that it will require anish says 10 that was fast take your time no problem think about that draw the tree again all these exercises class works are just to improve our understanding uh, as such i have not yet taught anything uh, today okay murari can do it in 8 Okay, Shania can do it in seven. Wow, <laughs> Salma six, Sajjan seven, Varad seven, Sharad seven. Okay, okay, Anirudh seven, Madhur seven. Okay, Murari. Okay, Murari has changed his answer to seven. Ani seven. Sai Shri seven, other seven. Okay. Abhishe can do it in six as well, like Salman. Okay. Can somebody draw the tree with six? Okay. Sai Chiran has given them one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay, let's check if any of these nodes can be removed. So, can uh, uh, Abhishek and Salman suggest if anything can be removed, or you can give another five is not needed. Uh, but if you remove five, then two becomes height imbalance, right? Right, the left child of two, left subtree of two will have height two, whereas the right subtree will have height. one okay, any other ways in which you can remove a node okay, abhishek has given 1 2 3 uh 4 5 and then 6 so 4 5 are children of whom Two. Uh, if that is the case, then the right subtree of one has height one, and the left subtree of one has height three. Yeah. Therefore, the root becomes imbalanced, as Anirudha and Shani are suggesting. So we are not yet there with six. We can remove six in Sai Charan's tree. Murari is saying, if we remove six in Sai Charan's tree, then uh root becomes imbalanced again because right subtree has uh, height 1 left subtree has height 3 yeah other uh, equals my sentiments murari does that seem reasonable okay so anybody wants to give the tree with six nodes okay so it seems a little difficult uh, but in case you come up with it do let me know what i have is actually a seven node tree and that seems to be kind of height uh, i mean height balanced as well as uh, at least i could not reduce it further right but i can prove actually that you will require certain number of nodes right so uh, um, okay um i mean there are more such combinations possible and so on but essentially it is going to have seven number of nodes right so this is the formula which you can actually use to have a h height avl tree so the minimum number of nodes that are required is going to be any suggestions anybody wants to try this out before i show the answer yeah visharad has given this tree yes 
correct and you can check if these are height balanced or not maybe i have committed a mistake psi chances 2 to the power h minus 1 minus 1 sampriti also says 2 to the power h minus 1 minus one. Mm. No, it will not be 2 to the power h because then it will be full. It will not be minimum. This is actually, uh, maybe this is going to be the maximum number of nodes an h height tree might have. We are talking about the minimum, right? So in this case, for example, there were four nodes. 2 to the power 4 is, uh, oh, I see, you derived it from there, 2 to the power 3 minus 1. I see. No, no, it doesn't turn out to be that way. For example, if you go to the fifth level, uh, uh, you will require much fewer nodes compared to 2 to the power uh, uh, like 4, which is 16 and then minus 1, 15. Uh, so you won't require so many nodes. So it grows a little slower than that. And uh, you will find it a little surprising that it has some resemblance with uh, Fibonacci sequence. So yeah, I just show you that. There is a proof in the book but uh, you can uh, look it up later uh which says log n into n n log n n log n will be a little I hope you are talking about, I mean, n is what, the height or the number of nodes, which are height. Okay, so log h into h minus 1, h log h minus 1, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't know how to derive that. Uh, Murari says, can we say for minimum nodes, every node must satisfy height difference equal to 1? Yeah, that's a very good question. Right? For the minimum uh, nodes, uh, can we have uh, every node satisfy height difference of 1? No, that is not going to be the case because you need to fill up those levels. Um, uh, in fact, uh, it might be satisfied. Yeah, so one thing which I will suggest is that at the... Uh, um, leaves parents this property can be satisfied right that the height difference will be uh, one but uh, anything which is a grandparent of a leaf this property may be satisfied may not be satisfied uh, can i say yeah for example a root right so root doesn't okay root satisfies this property oh i see sir and uh, this h s of h also is like similarly left side like whichever is maximum height h minus one oh, plus h minus 2 plus 1 root yeah that is true actually yeah you are right uh, okay so let's take uh, this argument that is that property satisfied at every node if it is not satisfied will you be able to remove a node that is the question right so if you uh, uh, if the height difference is zero will you be able to always remove a node uh, I think that is possible and therefore the height dif uh, uh, the number of nodes can be reduced. Yeah, so I think you are right that the height difference will always be 1. Uh, that is what I see. But unless anybody has any other uh, arguments for or against uh, what Murari is suggesting, please uh, share. Saicharan says it will require only 12 nodes for 5 levels. Great. Right. So you could check that and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, the answer. But anyway, uh, we'll move ahead. Oh, actually, we can't move ahead. We are already uh, at the end of the class. So Sai Giant says it satisfies. OK, good. That's good. All right. So we'll stop here and uh, we'll look at uh, insertion and deletion in AVL in the coming classes. Um, I'll wait for any questions. See you. All right. So if there are no questions, then we'll stop here and we'll meet in the next class.